Hi everyone, welcome to episode 2 of the Knitting Podcast, Anne Juuti Knits. <clears throat> uh, my name is Annina and I come to you from the west coast of Finland, a place called Kokkola. And this is where I live with my family, my two boys and uh, occasionally my uh, stepdaughter that stays with us occasionally. Um, first of all, I'm really sorry about my voice. I was supposed to film already yesterday, but um, uh, two days ago I lost my voice. So yesterday I, I, I had barely any left, um, but I really wanted to film you because um, next time I have time is um, it's going to be next weekend, Friday, and I I had some things to show, so um, I'm I'm sorry if it bothers you. If if it does, um, I'll see you next time maybe. Um, and if you can bear with me, um, I have a little rough voice this time. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Anne Um the, That's where I'm pretty active. And that's where I post um, my pictures and my stories and, and that's where you can see my journey as a knitter. I'm also a knitwear designer. Um, I have a couple of my, uh, designs that have been published um, and and I have lots lots of ideas and, and, and some project on the go. So it, there's more to come. First of all, I want to thank you. I want to thank all of you that wrote me a comment last time. It it meant it really meant a lot, and um, I was really happy to hear that so many of you watched <laughs> watched my uh, podcast. I was really nervous last time, and um, <clears throat> um, it really meant a lot. So thanks for coming back and. Welcome everyone that's watching me for the first time. Um, I hope you enjoy the content that I'm sharing. Uh, today I will show two finished objects and a couple of whips that I've been working on. And then I also have some new cast-ons and I will have some ideas that I will share uh, that I'm planning on knitting. I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, my husband took the kids out, I don't know how long they will be, and my voice is kind of um, forced, so I don't know if this is something that I can upload or, or not. First of all, what I'm wearing this is the reed sweater from Anna Johanna. I uh, test knitted this um, sweater last summer. <clears throat> I think it was June or July. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, this is from the book Strands of Joy that has been published quite recently. And I will uh, show a little bit about this book. Uh, later on this episode but um, yeah I've been wearing this a lot it's a bit um, awkward length um, the pattern uh, was for uh, a cropped body but because I'm a little <laughs> soft in the middle uh, I didn't want to make it completely cropped and then I ended up <laughs> finishing the hem a bit too early, I think. It's kind of a tad too short. Um, and also, when I was knitting this um, sweater, I wasn't really um, experienced when it comes to uh, making garments. So I had a lot of um, techniques that I wasn't very good at. Um, for example, these dots. They are, um, they are sinking in a, a little bit because um, I, I didn't know how to keep my tension right and 
yeah but i have evolved <laughs> i have uh, learned new techniques ever since so um i think i've been improving myself but that's from um uh, that's for that i will show you first my finished objects um last time i was working on this uh, ranunculus sweater uh, i made a t-shirt version uh, of this uh, ranunculus and um i think i explained last time that uh i made some modifications for it um it's not really uh, an easy pattern uh, only because it only has one size. <clears throat> uh, it has uh, some um, options for a bit uh, fuller size, but I I just um, made my own a little modifications. What comes to that? Um, first of all, I used uh, smaller needles. I used four millimeter four millimeter needles for the for the stockinette part and four and a half millimeter needle for the lace yoke. Um, my yarn was uh, Earth Harvest fingering. Um, I have the label here. It's uh, it's a uh, hundred percent merino wool, and it is in the colorway cinnamon i made um an extra row of of um, pattern because the yoke wasn't deep enough for my chest so that's one of the modifications that i made um, uh, i also left the raglan increases out because um i i really wanted it to be more of a fitted uh, on the bust, so <clears throat> that's what I did. My second finished object is um, this shawl. This is um, this is the storm shawl by Hohi Locatelli. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but everyone knows Hohi, so I'll. Put her name on the screen. Uh, the yarn that I used was uh, Wool Me Once Fibers Merino Sock in colorway uh, um, uh, Efaristo. My sister told me that it means thank you in, uh, in Greek and um, this was a really nice quick easy knit. It it's a one skein wonder, um, so it, it really didn't take a lot of time. I actually even had some leftovers, I think 16 grams. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to use it all because uh, the stockinette or, or the garter, garter stitch portion uh, at the bottom would have been too wide. So I, I ended it there and I really like these and this this color is stunning. Those were my finished objects. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this short this time because um, it annoys me that my voice is not right and I'm I'm worrying that you might find it <laughs> annoying too. I'll just show a couple of the whips that I have been working on and then um, I think I will cut this short today, but um, I will continue as, as long as um, I can. Okay, uh, last time I showed you this uh, painting bricks sweater that I have been working on. This is for my husband. Um, I was in that uh, orange stripe last time here so i've just been uh doing the row here and there it's um 
it's a nice uh, mindless knit i don't need to concentrate i'll just um grab the project whenever and um i can put in some rows um it's growing alongside with uh, all my million other whips okay um those were the whips that i uh, or that whip that i i've been working on and my last uh, video was all about revealing all the million whips that i have and it probably doesn't surprise you i have started a couple of more a couple more whips um and i did sign up for not one, not one but two test knits and the other one was um for yuki knits um fake uh, Hey Kennington, uh, if I remember correctly, sorry, I didn't write her name down. Um, this is her tree line. It is a um, color work yoke sweater. And this is a test knit. Um, I'm working on the size medium. And... Um, I'm using uh, just this uh, drops uh, merino extra fine that I had in my stash for actually a um, children's uh, children's uh, sweater, but um, then I saw this test call and um, the design was just so beautiful that I couldn't resist and I had to apply and um, so I started. Um, and this has actually been quite, quite a quick knit or it's so addictive that I've been working on it quite a lot. Um, I, I like the fact that it only uses two colors at a time, so it's not that challenging or difficult to knit. So yeah, now it's this just the easy part left stocking it to stitch body and just plain sleeves <clears throat> i'm really sorry about this voice i don't know if i i should continue much longer um then i started another sweater this one i talked to you uh, talked to you about last time it's just a tiny little start. This is um, my upcoming pattern, Kaiku uh, Yamini, which is this children sweater. You can um, you can see it on my Instagram, and I will link the patterns down below in the description box, so you can um, check them out if you like some of the things that I show. Okay, so this is the Kaiku <clears throat> Mini, and uh, I just barely got started, and then I found out about this test knit, and yeah, so I went for it. So I I didn't do much much with this one, and then I have another new cast on, and it's um, these socks uh, yeah, my grandfather is turning 80 and i wanted to make some socks for him i didn't want them to be just like plain socks because it's you know it's his big birthday and and i never i never make anything for him so uh, i finished this first sock yesterday even blocked and all, <laughs> where and sweeped in. Um, I actually worked this with uh, magic loop two at a time until I had done all the uh, decreases. But because um, I was tangling the the yarn balls all the time, and I I felt like I'm using more time untangling 
so I ripped them apart and I finished first uh, this one and now I only have um, one more pattern repeat and then the toe and I'm <clears throat> I'm done with this one too okay um, that was um, <laughs> that was uh, all my whips um, I I told you that I I applied for another test knit and just uh, it's this uh, little summer top um, by rust knits <clears throat> Sorry, um, um, I only did like a, a little swatch. Yes, this is the swatch that I do. I, I'm, not, I'm not planning on knitting this any longer. <laughs> I just got the gauge from this little, little tiny swatch and um, I, I got the gauge right, so I'm going with that. Um, I'm using this really old, 10-year-old um, yarn. This is Yestal Thun, or I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a bamboo and cotton yarn, and I have 11 balls of it at home. I, I started a blanket project uh, at least 10 years ago, and that didn't go too well. I didn't have the right needles um, i didn't know at the time that it matters what type of needles do you use i had this um bamboo cable needles which has like a really st uh, stiff cord uh, that was twisting in the, uh, all the directions and it was just impossible um i actually did frock the blanket um last year some point and and now i have 11 balls of white bamboo cotton and i think a summer top is something that i use this for but i don't know what i'm gonna do with the rest of it um one more thing that i will show you today is just because i'm wearing this reed sweater and uh, this year i also made a um reed guardigan um i used the same um same yoke uh, pattern um uh, i wanted to stick a cardigan and i had started um a a sweater project and um it was this mystery knit along and my gauge was wrong and um it used use uh, four four colors stranded knitting and it was just like it looked like a, a mountain or <laughs> it wasn't going it was never going to be a sweater or a cardigan so i had this pattern um i grabbed some yarn that i had the the brown one is um something that i dyed myself and the blue one I bought for the other cardigan. Um, I used the same pattern as uh, as reed, but because my yarn was thicker, I went um, I went size down, um, and still I ended up with um, <clears throat> a little bit oversized um, cardigan. But actually, it's really nice. It's more of a jacket like, um, so I think. It got a lot of wear. Um, I actually finished it in March, so I didn't have like the cold, cold winter. Uh, but there will always be another winter. This was my first steaked item, and actually the first time that I ever make um, button bands and buttonholes. So it was a first, first for everything. Um, I really enjoyed the project and I think it turned out really great. I did hide the stick with um, cotton uh, ribbon. 
and it gives this really beautiful beautiful um, finished polished look i will attach a um, video of the steaking pro process uh, my husband kindly filmed it for me and um, i will attach that to the end of this video i think this is everything from now for now because um, there's no point for me to go on with this squeaky voice and i'm sorry if this was a pain to watch um i will come back next time with a better voice this is everything from now um thanks for watching if you did watch until the end and i hope to see you next time please subscribe if you like like my videos and um, hit thumbs up if if you like and even thumbs down if you didn't have a great day and i'll see you next time bye